So Alf, tell us what are some of the key challenges with, with a hard company, hardware company becoming a software company? Well, first of all, I think it's important to understand that with our mobility heritage, and of course we have been for the last 30 years very active in the mobility space of the telecommunication uh, arena. And uh, that heritage made us a software company many, many, many years ago. You should know that just a mobility network as it's developed has more than 80% software from the beginning, whereas if you look at the fixed access, it's almost like the opposite in terms of numbers. Now having said that, there is much more to it to become a even more software oriented. Uh, I think one of the challenges we have is also on our revenue side. It is still so that we actually earn more, more money and getting more paid for our hardware than we actually get for our software. Um, but I think that that is changing and as customers and operators all over the world in our 180 countries that we're active in are realizing that their networks become increasingly software centric to achieve the right performance, to be able to uh, inaugurate the new services that are being established on top of the networks. Here we are in Nice, for instance, now at the uh, TM Forum, where one of the most important topics is really how we can expose the network assets and how we can orchestrate these networks to deliver things for other industries that wants to develop on top of it and develop new services and so forth. And then, of course, software is the way to do that. In the bottom of the stack, there will still be hardware, but it's a lot of software needed to realize what the operators want to do now.